Hi guys, it's Yong Xing Hu. Welcome back. It's lunch time. So today for your lunch, I'm gonna give you guys one of my mom's recipe. It's called stuffed pepper. If you haven't watched my video from this morning, make sure you check it out. I give you guys an amazing idea what you can do with pepper. I will pop the link above. So for this dish, it's super easy, super simple. It's packed with flavor and it's super fast to make. Let's get everything started now. Right, so for this dish, it's super simple. We need some long red peppers. And for the fillings, I'm going to teach you guys to make a super delicious filling for this stuffed pepper. Here, I'm going to use pork meats. So you can either use pork mince or beef mince or mix pork and beef mince. It's absolutely fine. So here we are going to make the filling. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm at the hob. I'm going to quickly turn on the heat and I'm going to add in some olive oil. Then I'm going to turn the heat down to medium. Right here, I'm going to add in some chopped spread onion. Some finely chopped ginger, about one tablespoon. And two garlic cloves, finely chopped. So add all in. Then I got some chili here. So normally my mom would use this special type of chili in China. It literally looks like the size of this pepper. But obviously it's chili, it already has spicy taste. The pepper I'm gonna use it today, or the pepper we got here, doesn't have any spicy taste. That's why I'm going to add in some chili. If you can't handle spicy food, then just ignore this part. So some chili in, and then I'm going to uh, put in some diced onion. So here I'm going to use half of a red onion. And then we have some shiitake mushroom here. So I'm going to quickly give a mix. Then I'm going to quickly put in some salt and the pepper for seasoning. Then here we are going to add in 200 grams of pork mince. And here I'm going to add in one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. one tablespoon of light soy sauce so here we are going to cook the mixture until the pork mince is cooked then I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of the soybean paste One teaspoon of dark soy sauce. Then here we are going to add in one tablespoon of corn flour and four tablespoons of water. Mm. 
Once the mixture is sticky, we can turn off the hob and let the mixture cool a little bit. While the filling is cooling, I'm going to quickly show you guys what I'm going to do regarding prepare my pepper. So here we are going to really, really gentle, careful with the pepper. We are going to use a knife, gently open the top part. However, we are going to keep it because when we place up later, uh, we need to put it back in. So basically, I'm going to put my no knife in like this. So carefully around the, uh, the top of the pepper. So go all the way around. Like that. Then we are going to put a knife in the pepper gently. Then literally the pepper can come out just like this. And then we are going to quickly remove all the seed on this bit of the pepper. Right, I just quickly remove the seed and so in the end it will just look like that. So after we put the fillings in the pepper, we'll just literally pop this one in. We'll pull it up. This part is not gonna go into frying pan either because if we put this part in the frying pan, all of the soft parts is gonna sweat and make the feeling really soggy and it also will shrink, we don't want that. If you have a chopstick or you can use like a butter knife to so go inside carefully, get all the seeds out of your pepper as well. Here my feeling is cool. Wow, smells so nice, honestly, wow. So I'm going to Use some chopstick, but obviously you guys can use spoon or knife. Just be careful, don't break the pepper. Uh, we are going to fill the pepper. So here we are going to fill the pepper all the way in. So we start with tiny bit. And to make sure it's all the way into the bottom, really deep. Then we are just going to quickly put the more in. So every time you put the more filling in, make sure you give it a poke. Right, we'll just make sure all the filling is definitely all the way in. Give it a poke, make it tight and deep. So here, we are going to leave tiny bit of space for our pepper top later on. So this one is done now. You can literally see the fillings from all the way here, down here. So I'm going to leave it on the side and I'm going to quickly do this as this one. So my pepper has been stuffed with filling now. So the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to shallow fry my pepper and before we do that, I'm going to put a tiny bit of corn flour so where the pepper seals, so tiny bit inside. So we fry the pepper and the fillings want to come, come out because when the corn flour touch the heat, uh, it will be become really sticky and seal the filling inside of the pepper. As I mentioned that we are going to shallow fry the pepper and I just got some oil here in my pan so I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit but I think my oil is hot now I'm going to carefully put the pepper in there at the same time I'm going to turn the oil down to medium
So here we are going to fry the both sides until slightly hard. So you guys can see on my pepper, this side is a little bit charred already. But obviously it's red pepper, the color is not that it's not that obvious. So I'm gonna leave that side in the pan for stay longer. Once the pepper is cooked, we can take them out and the plate off. Here is my homemade Chinese stuffed pepper. Now it's the most important part, try my lunch. I'm going to cut it to half now and have a look what's inside looks like. show you guys what it looks like inside see all the fillings honestly smells so good delicious I'm gonna eat now Wow, it's super delicious, oh my god. That's why my dad always asks my mom to cook this dish every single Sunday. It's so good, super delicious, so nice. Definitely recommend you guys to try this recipe. It's absolutely amazing. Right, now I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. Make sure you like this video and you subscribe to my channel if you haven't and tap the bell. I will see you guys at dinner time. Bye.